it is Mr. Scotty Pie here and uh, welcome back to another video. Sadly we've got to do another in memoriam video. If this is your first one of these I don't want to talk about the death of a certain film legend. I like to celebrate their life and that's what this video does. The first person we lost this week is Sir Alan Parker. Sir Alan Parker was born on the 14th of February 1944 and he left us on the 31st of July 2020. He survived until the, the great age of 76 years old. Sir Alan Parker was an English film director. He had 26 directing credits in, under his name, which is obviously is a fantastic number for any director. He filmed his first short film in 1974 and his first theatrical release in 1976. Between his first short film and his final theatrical release in 2003, he spent 29 years as a director, which is obviously such a phenomenal achievement and something to be so proud of. And then we look at his notable works. I've missed out so many because his resume is chocker blocked but just to name a few we have Bugsy Malone, Midnight Express, Fame, Evita, Angela's Ashes and so on and so on and so on. What a body of work to be proud of. Wow. Nothing on there is bad. Nothing on there is average. Everything I just named was brilliant and top tier and as I said I could have kept on naming them 26 directing credits there were not many on there I hadn't even heard of I may not have watched all of them but I've definitely heard of them and his career never went unnoticed if you look at his awards he was a very decorated uh, director two Oscar nominations for Best Director for Midnight Express and Mississippi Burning, three Golden Globe nominations for Best Director, Mississippi Burning, Vita and Midnight Express, ten BAFTA nominations, six of which he won, and that includes Best Director, Best Screenplay, Best Film and most notably he was inducted into the BAFTA Fellowship, which if you're um, not aware much of the BAFTA, it's the highest accolade the BAFTA can bestow on anybody. The Fellowship means that you're a legend, basically. You're a legend and you're going down history forever. He also did other works such as work of a Pink Floyd and Madonna, working on video projects, video films and obviously music videos. So his career spanned 29 years. In that time, he was decorated. He gave the highest achievements. He created work that will live with people and live with us for eternity. Not just in film, but in music as well. He achieved so much in 76 years that most people won't achieve in double that. Sir Alan Parker, you're a legend of film and cinema. You created work that will never be forgotten. Sir Alan Parker, you're a legend, you're amazing and you will never be forgotten. And you will always be missed. Sadly, we lost someone else as well in this week. And that was Wilford Brimley. So Wilford Brimley was, uh, was born on the 27th of September in 1934. He passed away on the 1st of August 2020 at the old age of 85 years old. He was an American actor with 77 acting credits according to IMDb, which is obviously a phenomenal achievement, which is obviously fantastic work. He, he starred in his first role in 1969 and his final role in 2017. That's 48 years he was a working actor, which is phenomenal, beyond words. That is such a career that most people could only dream of. 
that most actors now are hoping for, this man achieved. His notable roles as The Thing and Cocoon. Cocoon which he was a starring role for. Phenomenal. He, these two films are talked about in everyday conversation. Not as in, do you remember these films, but more of, how amazing are these films? And even to have an acknowledging role in either of these films is something to be proud of, but to star in these films that will go down in cinema history, that in a hundred years' time will be rewatched and rewatched and rewatched. Something that is something you should be proud of, his family should be proud of, everyone who knew him should be proud of. More general about um, about Wilfred Brimley's life, he was a sergeant in the army between 1953 and 1956. So not only was he 48 years as an actor, he was also a sergeant in the army for three years. This man has had a life that had got a thousand stories to tell. He was a jazz singer and an accomplished harmonica player and actually even released music. He worked to raise awareness for diabetes, a disease that he himself suffered from since the 70s. He achieved so much and gave back so much more. Everything he put his mind to, he ran with and excelled at. He's a man of a thousand stories and he will be deeply forgotten. Wolfie Brimley, you starred in films that will hold dear in people's hearts forever. And they hold dear in people's hearts forever because of you. You achieved everything that you put your mind to and you went on every project you had full steam. You never backed down from a challenge. Wilford Brimley, you were amazing and you'll never be forgotten, but you will forever be missed. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video and if you have any stories for Wilford Brimley or Sir Alan Parker, Please do put them in the comments, I would love to hear your stories, even if it's watching the film, meeting them, um, anything you have. I do respond to all comments, so I'd, let's start a conversation. I say I'd love to hear the stories. Uh, yeah, so I hope you have a good day, evening, morning, night, and I hope you keep Sir Alan Parker and Wilfred Brimley in your thoughts. Don't dwell on their death, but celebrate their life. Watch their films and enjoy them. Always enjoy them, because that's what they would like most. Thank you and goodbye.